normally in editing I have the opportunity to just edit out all the mistakes and not bother to show things that don't go so well. This time around I decided to do something a little bit different because a few things went wrong during this project and this was the first one. So the theory was that I glued a sacrificial piece of wood to the bottom of my laminated block of oak that I was going to then turn between centres to reduce it to the size that would fit my four jaw chuck, then hole it in the chuck to hollow through. A couple of things wrong with that. It was not the greatest piece of wood in the world uh, for turning anyway, and turning in that orientation made it very splintery. The other thing is that when I glued up the laminate of oak, I sanded off the varnish on the oak that I reclaimed from those doors to get a better glue joint between all of the blocks. And I sanded off one end to glue that sacrificial block to. Unfortunately, I then glued it to the other end where I hadn't sanded off the varnish finish, so the glue joint wasn't very strong, the wood was quite splintery, my chisel probably wasn't really sharp enough, and a pretty large lump came off, and yes, it hit my face shield. Uh, always wear your face shield, folks. So that was mistake number one. So at this point I realised mistake number two and three I guess. Two was that whilst I had been trying to be careful to get the measurement exactly right, I had made this thing not quite big enough uh, to fit the spindle. Uh, that's better than too big, so and it turned out to be relatively easy to correct on the sander, but it was kind of annoying. The other thing is I'd cut this thing in half too early. Uh, the next couple of procedures were more difficult because of that. As I mentioned earlier, I'd cut this thing in half too soon, really. This operation would have been much easier if they were still in one piece, because I need to drill the holes for bolts that will ultimately clamp the two sides together. Um, for some reason, I decided to drill the first of those holes right on the join between two layers of lamination, and a piece put off. Uh, it's not the end of the world. I could clamp it back in place, and I ended up actually putting some screws in to hold it together, but... Yeah, could have gone smarter.
the moment of truth in this, uh, I'm about to mount my new laminated oak um, spindle mount. And I wanted to talk a little bit about why I'm doing it. So when I did my walk through the CNC machine a couple of weeks back, I actually sort of said, oh, well, I've got these scrappy mounts, but if they ain't broke, don't fix them. Uh, and, and that was sort of true. They certainly work. Um, however, I've been aware for a while that, that there, there has been a problem with them. It's just been sort of a, a somewhat ignorable problem. But essentially, it's obviously very important with a spindle that it is mounted uh, vertical and perpendicular to the table. Um, and there are various ways in which it can be off. So obviously it can be off uh, in this direction, in this direction. Um, what I discovered, uh, and if you look at the picture, which I'll put here, um, I did a quick check and it really was quite far off uh, in this direction. Um, and so I thought, well, maybe it is time to, to have a better go. So this is what I've come up with. Um, it's fairly bulky. Uh, it's laminated out of uh, a bunch of pieces of oak, each layer at 90 degrees to the other layer to try and get the maximum strength out of it. The success or failure of this really comes down to precision and how precise they've been able to be. Uh, it's very important that this surface at the back, which is going to rest against here, be exactly parallel with the hole. Um, it's important that when I mount this, and therefore all of the, the holes that I've drilled here, that they are vertically aligned, again, vertically with the hole, because otherwise it will be twisted at different angles. Uh, it's obviously important that the circumference of this is precise enough that it will clamp securely the spindle. Um, so there's a lot to go wrong. Uh, this could all be kind of frustrating, but I guess the only way to find out is to go for it. Uh, the first thing that we'll find out if I've done right is the depth of these recesses needs to be such that the bolts come through enough, deep enough obviously to, to bolt in, but not so deep that they bottom out in the aluminum extrusion because that would stop them from tightening up properly. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. Uh, spindle is mounted, it's at the right height. That is pretty good. Tiny amount off to this side, about possibly. Yeah, if I Basically what I'm doing is lining up the top of the set square with the top of the shaft. On this side, it wants to rub ever so slightly and push the set square out of the way. But if you compare that to the previous photo, you will see that that is definitely an improvement. Whether or not that manifests as uh, a notable and important improvement in in output will remains to be seen, but I'm pretty happy.